Welcome back to 13C. Today we're uh, picking up where we left off a while ago on the Warrior X time. Hadn't been in very long, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on it. You've seen it on social media, you've seen it run on a couple different guns, you've seen it used handheld. Uh, the reason why we're following up with a full video right now, uh, in addition to following up on how this is done, we're going to get into our drop testing and all that stuff in just a minute. But uh, they've got a new flash sale that's uh, dropping, uh, I guess, tonight, this morning, today, some point. Uh, so if you're watching this on the day it drops, uh, which is, you know, middle-ish end of March, uh, go ahead and check that out. We'll have more info down below. If not, you're going to get the rest of the video uh, and, the, and the full look at this thing right now. So this is a pretty bright light. This is a 2000 lumen light. And it's important to understand that it's not only is it 200 lumens, but you've got to look at, and we've talked about in previous videos, uh, Candela, what kind of actual power is this thing pushing? Now, uh, that's 78,400 Candela. That's the light, intent, light intensity is another word for Candela. That is a ton of light coming out of here. That is significantly more output than some other lights that can be rated at 2,500 or 3,000 lumens simply because of the intensity of what's coming out of here. Um, this is the uh, low and then high, right? Uh, really bright. We're going to show you some pictures in a minute outside here. But uh, that's one thing that I wanted to touch on right out of the gate. So I know what you guys really wanted to see was our drop testing. So we are going to do that right now. And then we're going to come right back and pick up where we left off. So sunset hasn't quite hit yet, but uh, it's overcast, cloudy. And I figured we'd do this in the daylight because, you know, the brightness doesn't necessarily really matter at this point. Other than the fact, obviously, it's on. So uh, for reference, I am six foot three. And I don't know if this is necessarily testing or not. But uh, here we go from over my head. And right now, obviously, we are just dropping it here on grass. No big deal. Well, here we go. This is asphalt. We're going to start our first test at right about, uh, I don't know, about half my height, which is about three feet. There's one. I'm going to go up to uh, maybe about four feet. We'll come up maybe about five-ish feet. Now this thing is rated for two meters, which is about six feet. About head height for me is gonna be six feet. There's six feet. We are still working. And uh, let's just go above our rating here just to say what we've got here. Seven feet. Our light's still working. We're off, we're on low, we're on high, full on, temporary. Full temp. We're still working. Anyway, there we go. We're going to use this exact same light tonight out here to get some more footage shining around here in the dark just to show you what this uh, Warrior X will do. And of course, I would not recommend you drop your lights, but Warrior X, <laughs> Warrior X Oath Light sent me this one for free. So, um, you know, why not? If it's broke, that's okay. There's another six ish, seven ish foot drop onto the asphalt here. There you go. Thanks guys, we'll see you back inside. So what I really want to try and do here is, this is on low right now, I want to try and illuminate that tree line that's way over there. Now I can see some light thrown on it, but it's very hard uh, to see this through the viewfinder. So let me put that on high. Now I can see that tree line over there with the naked eye really well. I don't know how well you can make it out here. There's been, I should have done this probably two weeks ago when I, but um, anyway, it's kind of hard to see with some of the haze we still have left over. It's been stormy and everything else these past few days. I wanted to give you guys an idea if you can see that. That's 250 yards away. Now, with the naked eye, you can see everything out there really well. With the camera, though, it is difficult. And then, of course, the tree line drops off and goes hundreds and hundreds of yards past that to the next one. But uh, that's about 250 yards out there, roughly. As you can tell, this thing takes uh, takes a licking. It's rated at two meters for the drop test, which is roughly six feet. I'm six foot three. Figure where it's dropping from when I dropped it over my head. And while watching that clip again, it's probably more like eight feet, not seven feet when I held it up over my head uh, and dropped it from that height. Uh, and honestly, none the worst for wear. We've got some chips uh, and marks on here from where it hit. That's it. Um, so we went over the light last time. We'll run through it real quick. I mentioned that uh, that 2,000 lumens on the top end 
the lower end is uh, 300 lumens on low. So uh, at 2000 lumens, you will burn up a light or an LED like this if uh, it doesn't step down in power as it heats up. So it's gonna push that 2000 lumens for about two minutes. I would say it actually pushes it for three or four minutes when you're out here in some of these cold nights when it's down below freezing. This thing goes for significantly longer. We downed the battery and re-upped it several times at this point. Um, so there's that. Uh, when it drops down to its lower intensity, it slowly steps down depending on how hot it gets and how fast it's going. It's got some sort of sensor in here and it steps down to 600 lumens. Uh, Runtime on that is an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, on, the, uh, on the high intensity setting, once it steps down to that uh, 600 lumens, and that's the lowest it will drop to a 600 lumens and it'll uh, level out there on the higher mode. At th uh, the lower, the second level of the 300 lumens, it will run on that for four hours and 40 minutes. And it runs on one, it's an 18650 battery in here, uh, one of these guys, and it is rechargeable. So how the uh, charger works on this is, there is, and I have one of them right here, comes with this little uh, USB dongle on one end, plugs into any standard USB port. It has the magnet on the other, and to charge it, you simply put it on there. There's a light that'll go uh, red for charging, green when it's done, done charging, pull it off. Now, there's a couple cool things about having this magnetic base. It also activates the light from the base uh, right through there. You just push on that center portion right there. You also have a light switch you can attach to it. So you have on, and then if you push it and hold it, as soon as you let go, it's momentary. So push and hold just like any other kind of light. If you push and hold it, it'll be momentary. If you just tap it, it'll go on, uh, which is neat. They're also including this switch. You can pop this little switch out of here and use your own mounting, or it comes with a pick rail, a soft mounted one, so you can just kind of flex this and put it right onto your rail. I ran it like this earlier. We'll run some footage in on that of uh, using this, uh, this switch with the mount, there's a bundle coming tonight uh, that's part of this. This is Olight's mount right here. Basically, you, know, you take and you unscrew this and it changes it, screw it back in, clamps it onto the rail and it also clamps it onto the uh, the barrel of your light here. Uh, it works well, it holds on well. Uh, obviously, for a this is a pretty sturdy light. Um, from what I've seen, from how much I've used it, from dropping it, it's a pretty dang sturdy light. The mount here, I did not try and drop it on the gun with the mount. It's my thought that, I mean, this is this is aluminum on here. They've upgraded this uh, from an older mount. This both ends of this, well, one piece of this is aluminum. This almost seems like maybe it's a uh, high density plastic. This wheel is plastic. In here, that probably is some kind of plastic. Uh, the mount, while inexpensive, um, you know, relatively speaking for what it is, uh, especially when you get them on these flash sales. And just like everything else, uh, generally I tell you guys, if you're going to do it on some kind of sale, we have links and codes down below for that stuff. Um, and that's, a, that's you're gonna get your best value for your money that way. Let's just put it that way. So um, the big question will be, well, how does this compare to something like Surefire? No Surefire recently, and I got to play around and mess with one of those, has a, uh, has a light that's rated about 3,000 uh, lumens. It's a bigger light to begin with. Um, I would say this probably is slightly brighter than that one, uh, simply because of that light intensity we talked about. I think the light intensity on that one, even though it's close to 3,000 lumens, the light intensity in that is some, uh, the candela is about 50,000, 52,000, something like that, as compared to 78 on this. And that's where it really shines, pardon the pun, at a distance. Anyway, I was talking about this mount, I got distracted. I would not use this mount really for any serious purpose. Obviously, if I was going to war, I would use, and I've never been to war, hopefully I never go to war, but in the chance that that I would use this for some kind of serious work, at this point I would not, uh, I, I would not have any uh, uh, reservations about using this for home defense, self-defense, anything along those lines. End of the world zombie apocalypse, I'm probably going to go with one of the, you know, the two big brand names for a light that has a lot of uh, history behind it, a lot of testing, a lot of torture, and a much longer time period. Uh, Olight's been around forever, well, not forever, but they've been around for a while, and their handheld lights are really good. Their, their weapons lights, um, and this is still falls into that, you know, that quasi category, right? Handheld and, and weapons light with their mount setup that they have here with the pressure pad. They are still coming into their own with that. They've made great progress over the past, uh, you know, year or two, especially with user feedback 
and toughening these things up, making advancements in their pistol mounted uh, lights as well. Uh, but at the same time, they're a relatively new company um, in that sphere. So um, for, you know, for this one in particular, specifically, uh, self-defense, home defense, I have no problem using this. Uh, if, if, if it was going to be bouncing around, you know, and whatever, I would probably, you know, for now anyway, we'll see how these things play out over time. And also, you're taking a look at the price points when you pick these things up on flash sales. You honestly can't beat these things. I mean, this is a tremendous amount of light. These are high quality good lights here for like most these handhelds specifically and man they the value you're getting this thing water rated this is uh two meters uh submersion rated uh so ipx8 on the water rating as well and this it's not a massive light for this size it's coming out with um and this ring you could take off here if you wanted to uh, i leave it on there because it gives me a nice positive thing to grip on especially out here i'm wearing gloves at night when i'm out with a dog uh, every time i take him out uh, you know, as you guys know, I live on a farm out here and coyote wise and whatnot. I don't let him out at night without, uh, without me being out there just to make sure they don't lure him off and, uh, you know, pack up freaking coyotes. Don't come after him. And yes, we do uh, predator control out here as well, but that's uh, if you follow the channel. You already know that, <clears throat> you know, how fast these packs can travel though, when they move from area to area, any event, uh, hopefully that answers most of your questions. I'm not going to give you guys a full rundown on the specs. I've already done that before. Um, but I really wanted to get into the toughness uh, of this light and how it's lasted over time here and how it's held up. Uh, special thanks to my friend Gunrunner who uh, he, he uh, used this light. I gave it to him for about a week uh, before he gave it back. One night he used it on the job um, and uh, it looks like uh, he, he enjoyed it from what he said and he didn't have any issues with it for that night. It came back fine. I don't know exactly what he did to it while it was gone, but it came back working fine, right? Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, they've got that bundle flash sale going on. If not, check down, we'll have links below, we'll update it. Uh, in the box, you also get a little pouch, you get the charger, like I mentioned, and then you get another uh, little clip that can go on there if you want to use it uh, as a clip to go on here. So technically, you could have a clip and then clip it inside a pocket with it. Um, it's pretty big light to be clipping in most pockets, what I would use, so I just took the clip off. I don't use the clip. Um, there you go. Hopefully that answers your questions. Uh, the links and everything will be down below. We appreciate it. We've got a ton more videos. The uh, weather's finally broken up here, so we got a ton more stuff coming up. And uh, the videos are going to be coming hard and fast after this as we get back to some of our more regularly scheduled content. We appreciate you bearing with, with us here as we've experienced some of these different things. Negative 26 degrees. Um, we had the polar vortex come through. We had a high one day of negative 20. Um, hail, crazy windstorms, different hurricane force winds keep blowing through here. I say hurricane force, even though we're you know thousand whatever miles from the closest freaking ocean. Um, <laughs> it, it's been wild. It's been awful trying to record. Uh, as you've seen some social media postings, we're still out there shooting, but trying to get cameras out, especially in these super cold temperatures, uh, or with this misty rain and snow and other stuff. I, I can't. With, with the way things are going, we've been completely, almost virtually 99% demonetized on YouTube. Um, I just can't be risking destroying cameras when there's nothing uh, really of any anything coming in that's even hoping to even come close to covering our ammo budget. So thanks. We appreciate your support, likes, comments, shares, subscriptions. It uh, goes a long way to help because that's... Uh, other other than you guys leaving your comments, likes, shares, subscriptions, uh, what not shares especially helps a lot. Uh, that's, that's the only way we're getting really anything out of this. Um, so thanks. We appreciate it. And uh, thanks to Olight uh, for sending this light in here and letting us uh, beat on it and trash on it. I'm going to continue to use this thing and uh, use and uh, maybe do some more abusing with it as well now. Um, just to kind of, I, I don't know if I want to do a complete destructive test on it, but I feel pretty confident in this thing that uh, that I want to want to really do some more uh, some more work with it. We'll give you those follow-ups, facebook.com forward slash gun reviews. Um, Instagram, we're at 13C Gun Reviews as well. Thanks, everybody. Take care, uh, stay safe, and we'll talk soon.